you know, we talk about if you're familiar in with, you know, new age and new thought circles, there's this concept of cutting energetic cords with partners. When you cut a cord with someone, you are, are these cords never go away. We are all connected. We are all one. But when you cut a cord with someone, you are setting the intention to restructure that cord. You are setting the intention to place that experience in your life on the shelf where it belongs in your library, right? And you can come back to it and open it and read it anytime you want. But for now, it may be time to close the book because you've read it a hundred times over and it's time for you to gain some new knowledge, okay? And with the new knowledge, suddenly what you read in that book, you know, weeks, months, years ago is going to make more sense. But you got to put it away for now, okay? And those cords grow back. They grow back, but they grow back in different ways. You know, this happens a lot. I have a lot of clients who will say, I was talking about and or thinking about an ex and all of a sudden they called me. Yeah, of course, because we are all connected and they're going to sense it when you pull that string, right? There's not any real deep or profound meaning beyond it, beyond it, aside from the fact to show you that you have that kind of power, especially on the energetic level. Acknowledge that and start to harness some of that so that you can move through the world a bit more intentionally. So surrendering what you can't control, the paradox is, gives you more control over the things that you can.